Yes, here at 10, I'm Jolene Cheney. And I'm Kevin Ogle, and we start tonight with our Attorney General handing down a scathing opinion regarding the recent revelation billions of dollars in taxpayer dollars went unaccounted for. You may remember the Legislative Office of Financial Transparency, known as LOFT for short, said the money was not run through the state's central purchasing procedures. Ashley Moss is back with an update for us tonight. Ashley. And Kevin Drummond advises state lawmakers to, quote, seriously consider the recommendations from the report. He mentioned those purchasing exemptions for recreation and tourism in particular, saying it was, quote, incredulous to think that no one questioned what was happening. Thursday's blistering opinion in response to a glaring question on the lack of oversight for billions in Central Purchasing Act exemptions. Who double checks them? We have a, you know, a legal opinion that... Uh, Ex basically excluded us from the authority over exempted agencies. When probed, OMES said they couldn't enforce the regulations. But in his contradiction, the attorney general said the purchasing director is responsible, adding, quote, OMES is required to maintain oversight and responsibility for all agency acquisitions particularly after the revelation that Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation avoided oversight on the resale of merchandise through department retail outlets, including restaurants. Loft noting in its report, the invoices from Swadley's were used for management fees, construction expenses, and equipment used to purchase food. Nothing related to items being resold. Even after OTRD's transactions with Swadley's were made public, Central Purchasing did not and has yet to reduce the agency's spending threshold. Why wouldn't you look at all of the procurement processes for a problematic agency that clearly is undergoing review? The law dictates in, that they are exempt from me overseeing that. Drummond going on to say, while no one questioned what was occurring within the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department, quote, reforms are needed to ensure accountability and oversight of taxpayer funds across agencies. Now, by email, the Department of Tourism said they did not have a comment on the opinion. However, we do note that the current executive director was not appointed to her role until late last year, after the time period that the agency is being investigated for. A loft follow-up report to review any related changes to statutes, administrative code, or general policy changes for tourism and recreation could be available by this summer. We know you'll follow it. Thank you.